jam. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Welcome, my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka, and today we're going to be playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. I miss Monday, had a little bit of difficulties, but there is something very new that you may have seen, may not have seen, but we're gonna be checking it out. If you enjoy, you wanna see more, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. While you're down there, be sure to leave your suggestion for customization, whether that's paint, rim, tire, spoiler alert, we got cheaped out on and there's no performance parts. So that's not an option, but I would love to hear your plate suggestions as well. Without further ado, we got lots to get into. I hope you guys enjoy, and I think you will. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding in my own pizzeria mechanic shop, and you ask me to cover some DLC that's new. You just gave me the offer I can't refuse. All right, enough of that. Enough of bad Im imitations and accents. I should probably stop doing those, but um, hello, this is our Prius. I sleepered it out just as you guys requested. I bounced back and forth between the red and this off-white color. I thought the off-white was more Prius-y. I feel like I've seen this before somewhere. This specific type of Prius with this big boy in it has like some kind of, like this is zero offset. Like this is as low of an offset, this is as close to the hub as I could possibly get it. So the hub assembly here is definitely pushed out a bit because <laughs> as you can see, it's basically, it wants to be wide bodied. Now I thought about buying a new one, 100%, but what do I look like? Do I look like I'm made of money here? I mean, I don't have exactly that much money. I can't be going around buying a bunch of these. So you know what? We got one, it's looking good. It can collect dust. It is time. Hopefully you like our uh, you like our place here. I didn't really know what doors to go with. They had like a burnt orange, but then I felt like it was too much red. So I felt like we needed to pop a color. What I really wanted was the yellow. I was feeling this yellow and like what what's more pizza than yellowy cheese and red tomato sauce? Come on. I guess mozza's not usually yellow, huh? Well, we got we got that three cheese. We're fancy. Pinky fingers. Let's go. Stick them out. All right, so I have something to say, but I'm going to quickly do this first because I know you're waiting for the unveil. There has been a new DLC. Now, we skipped a DLC. Some of you may have noticed there was a Bentley DLC, but it was literally the exact same DLC as the Bentley DLC that we checked out in Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. So I was kind of like, eh, eh. I'm not... I'm not promoting this, you know? I'm not promoting just regurgitating content like a damn bird feeding your chicks. So, I bought this one. Now you might be wondering. No, you're not, because you saw the thumbnail. It's a Lotus. It's a Lotus. This is like, this is like one of my childhood dream cars right here. I loved these things. And now let me tell you why. See, as a child, I was kind of smart. While everyone else was like, Ooh, I want that Lambo or that McLaren or that Ferrari. See, I was like, yeah, those are great. Don't get me wrong. Give me any of those. All right, Mercedes SLR McLaren, hook it, hook it up. All right, I'll take it. But reasonable dream car. See, I was a smart kid. I was like, hey, I could probably maybe reach this one day. This isn't like far-fetched. Maybe not this exact one. This one's all right, though. But they have nicer ones, in my opinion. But it's convertible anyways. And you get this along with the Lotus Esprit. And, and that's it. For $5. And the engines, of course. You get an i4 2.0 DOHC, which I believe is this one. I'm not 100% sure. Let's check. Yep. Called it. And then the other one you get is an i4 K Series 1.8 in the Esprit. So let's just move this thing over to a lifter so we can get started. 
So don't forget, leave your suggestions on what you want to see done to this thing. We're going to have to figure out how to get the engine out of this thing. Maybe we'll just take all the body parts off. I haven't decided yet. Um, <clears throat> and speaking of which, I actually did do the plate suggestion um, on the toy, the toy Yota. It's in the... Uh, it's in the garage now, though, so I kind of forgot. Don't worry, we're going to do an episode where we show off all of the creations you guys have come up with, as well as the cool plate ideas. We'll do some head-to-head -head racing. What's not to love? We've done it once with the old garage. We're still going to do it again. We just got to get a nice collection going first. Which brings me to my next topic. I just got to quickly take a little bit of time out of your day. Feel free. To skip ahead of this if this gets a little too mushy for you but i just wanted to thank all you guys for the overwhelming amount of views on this satsuma car mechanic simulator as well as the overwhelming response in likes comments subscribers i mean we got a for me a pretty big surge of subscribers so i just want to say thank you guys so much i am going to be doing a giveaway you may have heard I'm going to be doing two Steam card giveaways, so if you are a user of Steam like most of us are, be sure to stay tuned for some free, free beautiful Steam currency. I'm going to be creating some social medias. We have my Twitter down below, which I've been a little bit, avo a little bit avoiding. That doesn't make sense, but I've been avoiding it a little bit. But I'm going to be getting back on there as well as some other forms of social media. If you have some that you would like or that you use, suggest them in the comments and I will be sure to make sure that there's a way for you to enter the contest through social media of your choice. Just kind of a thank you for you guys giving me so much love and support. I really appreciate it. It has really given me a kick in the butt with this whole YouTube thing and said, hey, look, there's over 1,600 people. That's a lot of people, all right? I know... These other YouTubers boast some big numbers, but that's a lot of people. I'm just going to start taking some of this stuff off. And um, yeah, I don't want to I don't want to disappoint is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to be doing as much as I can do to get this to get to keep this ball rolling that you guys have have graciously pushed down a hill for me. It's, it's got some good speed and I like it. So stay tuned. Don't worry. I'll be announcing on multiple different videos, different games, and I will be sure to announce again on next week's Car Mechanic Simulator all the details that you will need to enter the contest. And yeah, that's, that's, that's basically it. The boring stuff is over, all right? Now we can get to the fun stuff. I haven't done one of these little thank you things before a video in a long time, so I figured... Now was a good time because holy Moses, you guys are insane. All right, so this is um, interesting to say the least. Um, I don't know why I took that throttle off. That was, that was stupid. But um, I don't know what I need to take off. Probably this starter. That's, a, that's probably a pretty good guess. Um, the manifold might be able to stay. Is there anything else? Probably this, this whole drive shaft system back here is gonna have to come out before we can take the engine off all right well let's just get straight into tearing it down because i want to see how fast this thing is because most of the i4 engines in this game are not very fast to be honest but this one might be and unfortunately from what i've read there is no performance parts for this new engine which i mean I'm, i guess there's probably some basic ones like you know if, if it has pistons i'm sure i can use these pistons but there's not going to be like as much. There's no head or anything like that. Nothing new is what I'm trying to say here. Um, and there's not going to be any fancy body parts or anything like that. Which, I mean, it's a Lotus. You, you normally see them stock. So anyway, enough blabbering. Let's go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Now we're doing it.
Well, she doesn't look like much, but childhood dream car right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. You know, fun story about one of these things. I was actually with a, a buddy. You think, now that they actually have a rear engine car in the game, that maybe they would have added a point to do that properly, and then we would have got that for the mods. But I guess, you know, they're just, they're cool with this super realistic simulation game taking the engine out of the front. Oh, you have to remove the gearbox, right. Okay, uh, didn't know this. I mean, it looks like the kind of engine that could be taken out, but whatever, with the, with the transmission. It's not a huge transmission by any means. Game. All right, back to the story. So me and a buddy, we were hanging out at my house and um, there was a knock on the door. We we're pretty, uh, we, were, we, were, we were little shits, all right? Let's just, let's just say that. So we kind of thought we were in trouble. So we didn't really want to answer the door. So we're trying to like peek out and be like, who the heck is knocking on my damn door, all right? And um, we peek out and what do we see? but a Lotus sitting in my driveway. And we were like, what? And my buddy turns around, he's like, who the hell do you know with a Lotus? And I was like, nobody. And uh, turns out it was his mom showing up in like a coworker's, why can't I put this back? Excuse me, thank you. Showing up with a coworker's Lotus to take us for a ride, one by one of course, because it's only a two seater. These things are tiny. Oh my god, and they're so low to the ground, it's hilarious getting into them. But, ooh, was it fun. Why is it so crappy on the, uh, I know. I know, I know. Where is it? Not that one. This one. Got it. But yeah, it was orange. It was an or bright orange lotus, and I felt like a badass. I don't even know how old I was. I was probably like, had to be during high school sometime. 15? 14, 15, something like that. I couldn't drive, I'll tell you that much. So it was pretty cool. I didn't drive the Lotus, don't don't get it twisted. I just rode in it, but it was still fun. All right, story time is over. Let's, let's do this engine now. I'm getting some weird, like, laggy jumps ever since this Lotus has gotten in my garage, and I never got these before. So I don't know if it's because of the Lotus. But other than that, thank God, we haven't had any typical, you know, car mechanic simulator bullshit. that piston I don't even I don't want to talk about it leave me alone all right I think I got everything let's build the engine put it back and then we'll tie it all up with a nice little bow
All right, this awesome little engine is done. I'm happy that it's pretty different than all the other i4s, and it gives people in the modding community, I believe, an opportunity to use this engine, if they so choose. Obviously, it's not actually used in really any other cars, but it's still a different i4 to play with than the basic, typical ones. Uh, I need my little crane. Install that engine. Usually this is like where I'm done and I'm getting that feeling of like, oh, we're gonna drive it soon, but we're definitely, definitely not done. Um, what can we add back up here? We can add the battery. I think that's basically it. I guess we could probably do the exhaust if we wanna put stuff in the way and make things harder for us on a mechanic level. But this isn't real life, so who cares? This mechanic doesn't have feelings. <laughs> I do. All right, let's put this thing in the air. And finish all this stuff up. I almost forgot I gotta do some of this stuff. All right, now I'm ready to break the curse. All right, look at that. And actually the car came with staggered wheels. They were 15s and 16s, and they were 185, 205s. I bumped it up one, we got 16s and 17s, 195s, 225s. I think it's gonna be good, hopefully. Let's get some body parts on and find out. Almost forgot the cooling. <laughs> it's hiding down here. And the brake stuff, that would've been bad. We either would have had to stop and not been able to, or we would have blown up. Whichever one came first. I'm not picky. All right, let's see if we uh, did it right by just trying to throw it in the dyno. Cannot start engine. I'm a failure. Ah, the curse lives to tell another tale because I couldn't break it. I came so close. That was the only thing that ruined it for me. But that's fine. Now we can go to the dyno, see what kind of power we're putting out from this little i4. I think that's probably the most exciting thing about this DLC is the little engines that maybe have some some okay power. 117 horsepower stock. Please hit 300. Is that really what all these things have stock? No way. I don't believe that. I mean, they're pretty light cars, so they don't need a ton of power, but only 117 horse? That's crazy. So we bumped it to 152, which isn't bad considering there's not a ton of performance parts for this thing. So I'm just gonna leave it this pretty cool racing green, and um, you guys can let me know what color you would like to see it in, and uh, we'll see what this thing can do on the track. Side note, I love these old school mirrors. They are so awesome with the little rubbery piece in there. I don't even know what it is, but it's awesome. All right. Awesome like a possum. So, as always, tradition states we got to take it to the drag strip. Ooh, we even got a Lotus gauge. Look at us. I think 17s might have been a bad call. It's sitting a little high in the back. <laughs> it's sitting a little high in general. But that's neither here nor there. We only care. Holy poet about how fast it can be. Don't let me down! 
Come on, childhood car, don't disappoint. 5.2 seconds, 0 to 100. That sounds... maybe about right. Especially for this older looking model. Can we hit the 200 mark? It's very calm, which isn't necessarily a good thing. I like crazy batshit, wanna rip your head off kind of cars. We're definitely not gonna hit 300, but let's see what our top speed is. 211, 12, 13. And that's, and that's, that's all she wrote. Well, that's it folks. If you guys want to see more, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. Okay, that was a bad camera angle. Don't forget to leave your customization options for the vehicle we have done today. Plates are always welcome. I love the different plate ideas you guys come up with. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And remember, keep your dirty dick beaters off my tools. Take her easy. Ooh. This game does not like these cars. <laughs>